How do you sell a house and buy another property at the same time? I mean, where do you even start? And this is what this video is all about. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna understand our financial strength and we're gonna understand the financial programs we qualify before we even go look for other properties. So I have a bunch of lenders that offer various different programs and I'm happy to share that information with you. But it's a much different situation if you want to sell your house to qualify for your loan rather than having to sell your house to qualify for your loan. Now, no one wants to pay for two mortgages, but it is a much different situation. So if you're able to make a non-contingent offer on the sale of your home, you are in a much stronger negotiating position in comparison to making a contingent offer on the sale of your property. In fact, most of the sellers I'm working with won't even con uh, consider a contingent offer. And I know a lot of you are out there are thinking, well, the market's tanking and now they're gonna have to deal with us. Yeah, mm, not really. You gotta realize right now in the area that I live, 72% of all the homeowners have a mortgage rate that's less than 4%. So their holding costs are pretty minimal and unemployment rate's really high. So don't kid yourself. And once again, like realize when you're making a contingent offer, the seller's gonna to ask a premium, right? They're not gonna negotiate so much on those terms. Now, if it's a desperate situation, we always have those situations where there's a divorce or a death in the family and they're forced to move, but more than likely they need to move quickly and they're not gonna accept a contingent offer on the sale of their home because timing is very important to them. Fun little fact, the National Association of Realtors forbids discrimination. I don't like that word discrimination, but there is one area that we can discriminate and that is financial strength. So when we're presenting offers to the seller, we need to talk to them and show them the financial strength of each offer. And if you are making a contingent sale on the purchase or the sale of your home in an offer, that is not financially very strong. And we need to communicate to the seller, even if there's not multiple offers, the downside and also um, we'll just say the risk that goes into accepting an offer that's contingent on the sale of your home. Don't do it if you can avoid it. So if you need to sell your house to qualify for a loan, don't feel bad. I, I mean, I understand, I'm in the same boat. And in fact, most buyers out there need to sell their house to get the equity out to qualify for a loan. So you're not alone. But you also have to realize that when the market's really strong, you're gonna have, like I said, 99% failure because most sellers don't have to accept a contingent offer. And at least in California, we can't even write those letters anymore about the families and how wonderful. It's not even emotional anymore. You really gotta figure out some different programs to help you. I'll get into that in just a minute. Now, if the market is sluggish, right, and we got sellers that are in no hurry to get out of their home, you might be able to find someone that's willing to accept a contingent offer. But do realize if the market's slow, it's gonna take a while to sell your house and eventually the seller might get sick of you and say, forget it, I'm gonna drop my price and try to find another buyer that will buy my house at even if it's a lower price, right? So be mindful of that. So we're gonna first come up with a plan. Okay, gotta have a plan. <laughs> so my favorite program for sellers in a situation like this, meaning they have to sell their house, is a program called Home Light Trade-In. Love this program. Now, full disclosure, I am a Home Light, what's it called, certified agent. So just so you know, this video is not sponsored and I get no money out of being a Home Light agent. I just did a lot of research and I was trying to find a solution for my clients that are in the same situation you potentially could be in. So this is the best, program I could find. It's super slick. I've done several transactions with this company. And I mean, it's like chef kissed. I'm telling you, it's just, I love this program. So how it works is Homelight comes to your house. They meet with you. They come up with an appraised value. They qualify you. Okay. Now this qualification process takes five days. Now this is full qualification. This isn't 17, 21 day loan approval. No, this is five days of qualifying. That's amazing, that's super quick. So the good news, now you have a pre-qualification letter that states you can qualify up to a certain loan amount. So you get to go shopping, and now you get to go make offers non-contingent on the sale of your home. So how is that possible? Wow, Otter, that sounds too good to be true. How does it work? Okay, so Homelight, in their program, that trade-in program, they will actually close escrow two days before you close on your dream house, okay? How wonderful is that? Now they give you two checks. The first check comes two days before you close on your special property, right? Your dream home. And that's check number one. Now typically that's 80%-ish of the value of your property. 
So you close escrow, you got 80% of the equity out of your house, the house is now in Home Light's name, okay, because you no longer own it, you qualified for the program. And then you move out, you fix your house up, you know, we put it back on the market, you sell it, and you get all the equity that comes back out of the house, okay? Now there is a financing fee for that. I would say the biggest pushback that my clients have had regarding this Home Light program is they just don't really want to deal with the service fee or the finance fee and it's about one percent they're like well forget it there's no way i'm doing that that doesn't make any sense well what doesn't make sense <laughs> is offering a contingent offer on the sale of your property and paying a premium for that right and not even that it's very emotional and very stressful to be in that situation so i've actually looked at people who have and done my own little spreadsheet uh people who decide they're going to go try the contingent sale on their home and try to get an offer and people who have worked the home light program and what i found out that people who have used the home light program have benefited greatly compared to the others meaning that they've sold their house at a premium because they weren't living at it anymore i was able to stage it i was able to show it more often it was always in perfect condition and the people that actually got into perhaps a contingent situation uh, they're paying a premium and a lot of stress and probably 10 years off their life <laughs> slight exaggeration okay so let's say you, you just don't want to deal with programs like home light you just don't know what the next step is well number one most important thing is just focus on selling your primary residence don't look at other properties just yet okay don't make the mistake of falling in love with a house and then having to be motivated to sell your house and possibly take even a lower price on your house which is a bad idea to go buy another this is never good no so what you're going to do is you're going to focus on your primary residence you're going to get it prepared for sale you're going to put it on the market and you're going to work diligently to sell that house you're not going to be in a desperate situation because you need to go buy another property and i do have uh, several videos about preparing your house for a photo shoot preparing your house for staging and just putting the property in the best light and i will link it down below all right so now you're freaking out like oh my gosh i have my house on the market and uh, i don't have any place to go and i have all this anxiety okay fear not i promise you <laughs> we will find you a house you're not going to be homeless you're not going to be stranded i assure you but you have to understand that it's a long time escrow is a long time 30 45 you can even push it to 60 days and we can ask for even a longer escrow or we can even ask for an escrow contingent on you finding a replacement property, okay? A lot of people don't know that's out there. Like you say, hey, I'll accept your offer, but I have to find a replacement property first, and we're working very diligently to do this. But it's amazing, I call it the law of attraction, right? Once you get super motivated, um, it's amazing how properties just show up. <laughs> but you get hyper-focused and you're on you know, the internet all day long trying to find properties. And also, if you're working in my area, like I have a network of agents, I have a lot of off-market listings that I know about. There's people that come to me literally all the time at saying, hey, you know, we might be able to sell if you found the right buyer or at the right price. And so I have a whole list of all these homes that are potentially available. So don't let that be your number one obstacle in selling your house is you're worried about where you're going to go next because there is a solution. We will find you a property and I promise you won't be homeless. So something else to consider is you put your house on the market, it goes into escrow, the buyer does all their investigations, they remove all their contingencies. Now this is money, right? You get to go out there. There. you can go make offers that are you know contingent on the sale of your home but you can tell you know the seller and write in an offer like hey here's our escrow closing statement here's who our buyer is we already have you know uh, the earnest money deposits at risk at this point so we're all in will you work with us and they'll say yeah that's great at least we know what your buyer is and it does limit the risk for them so the other consideration for sellers not accepting a contingent offer on the sale of the property is they don't know what your buyer is going to be like and no word of a lie i <laughs> i was a listing agent and we weren't selling the house and we get this contingent offer and i looked at the sellers and i'm like you know no one's buying this house they're offering you full price and as is i mean it's it's the winter time it's the slowness in the market i mean we have nothing to lose well, come to find out there were 10 other <laughs> contingent offers lined up, meaning that buyer had to sell and this seller had to sell. There's 10 houses that had to close before my property closed. And when I communicated this to the seller, I'm like, listen, we got like 99.9% .9 chance that this probably is gonna fail. <laughs> I said, but what do we have to lose? And I can say in my entire career, this is probably the biggest miracle because we actually did close it. Now it took about 30 days longer than we wanted, but
but we got it done. So there is complications when you're dealing with contingent offers, especially when you don't know who the buyer is going to be on their, you know, the seller or the buyer of the property. It's important to know those details. Now there are other financial options out there for you. For example, a bridge loan is an option. Now that's very expensive and it's a little bit risky, so you're gonna wanna understand your risk in that, but it's really important, like in my opinion, the most important thing you can do right now is to get pre-qualified, understand your financial situation, and just kind of evaluate, take the time to evaluate the financing behind this. So the easiest part is actually finding your dream home, and if you're using me, the selling part's usually pretty easy too. <laughs> like I'm self-promoting right there. And please reach out to me with any of these questions. I know it's a hard place to be in. I know it's very disruptive, but you know, I don't care who you are, whether you're a realtor, buyer, you're using another agent, I'm here just to help. So I hope you got some benefit out of this video. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.